PC Steph, you know, she came up against a brick wall, yeah, and uh, that was her senior officers, yeah, all um, failing her, yeah. These these uh, senior officers, yeah, failed to report DC Steph's concerns, yeah, then proceeded to belittle her, yeah, in such a way that DC Steph had a long period of sickness. Get out of the yard. This is a private property. Is it a secure yard? Is it private property? Yeah. Secure. How comes? How comes I'm in here then? Well, the gates haven't been shut. Oh, exactly. I wasn't told to come out. No, no, I wasn't told to come out. Well, I'm asking you to come out now. Oh, do, do you, you want to speak to me now? Do you? No, not really. Well, well then, don't. Anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not trespassing. I didn't. I didn't jump over no fences. I'm in here lawfully. How can I help you? Then? You can't. Who are you? Who are you? Are you going to identify yourself? Yeah, I know you got why pips. Inspe why Inspector Lang? Because okay, Inspector. Lang. Inspector Lang. Okay, Inspector Lang. Yeah. This officer here. Yes. Yeah. When I asked you to identify yourself earlier on, what did you do? I didn't identify myself. You didn't, did you? No. no. Why not? Well, I don't have to. Okay. Inspector? Yeah. She doesn't have to? Can we help you then? Does, does she have to identify can herself? Help you? No, no. Can we help Inspector, you? does she have to identify she, herself? She, she's only asking you why you're in the quarry. No, not now. Yourself. This is early on. You well, just heard what she said. Yourself. It does matter. Yeah. Inspector? She's in uniform with a, with a number clearly visible. So who said it's clearly visible to who? Supposing I've got a disability. Supposing I can't see. No, no, no. Don't okay me. You just said it's clearly visible. But supposing I can't see. So you're you're not going to suppose and I can't see, Inspe uh, Inspector. Inspector, place. suppose and I can't see. Uh, I think supposed to be acting sergeant. Said the inspector's on his way down. He said he's locked at the moment. I don't want to go into no locked police station. <laughs> so if he comes out on the step and has a quick word, then I'll uh, just ask him a couple of questions and be on my way. Not going to go in there. No chance. How can we help you? What's the reason for your tenants here? Not that you need one, but is it, uh, do you anything in particular I can help you with? Well, but exactly, I don't need one, do I? No, but is there anything I can help you with? Yeah. I, I can divert you to the right person. Okay, okay. Uh, is Avon and Somerset Police Force an old boys network full of officers who will cover up any situation and protect their own pensions? Do you think that that officer should be filming me without letting me know that she's filming. Is that what you really think? The I'm not, officer encouraged to, to put the body on video on just to... No, yeah. do you know... Do you know you were filming her, weren't do you? Know, well? It doesn't matter if I film her. Do you know GDPR? Do you know what GDPR yes, is? Do. Yeah, like said, and data protection way. says... Yeah, uh, listen to me, I'm not being funny. I don't mind if you're an inspector or not. I was going to say I don't care if you're an inspector or not. Your policies, policing policies and principles, says that if you're filming me, you should tell me at the first practical occasion uh, or time that you're filming me so it's not nothing to do with uh, she's filming it she's supposed to do it and you're her inspector you should tell her that she should be telling me that it's on there's no ifs and buts it's not a grey area yeah don't make it a grey area I think that this is a policing matter in regards to how police officers treat their own fellow police officers you know, one's got a disability, one stands up for, for the person with a disability and then they end up having um, anxiety and stress because of the way that they've been treated.